Hello friends! We are up to reading number 19 out of our 1001 tarot spreads. Today's question is, if you have financial problems such that creditors are calling and threatening you, is it time to negotiate or do you just ignore them? Let's get into it. For this reading, we are still using the Terror of the Night, Terror de Nuit, de la Nuit, and this reading recommends only using the 22 Major Arcana. So the first card in this reading is going to be answering the question, should I negotiate? Or what are the effects of negotiating? And the second card is, should I ignore them? And I will point out this does not count as financial advice just for legal reasons so that no one can come after me and be upset about that. Um, but I will point out anytime you are dealing with financial stuff, yes, tarot is wonderful. It can help provide clarity when you aren't sure what to do with the information in front of you still please go talk to a financial expert because they will be able to give you the information to actually make in-depth decisions. This is more of a, a vibe check of the two options, not a you should go do this. Now that that warning is out of the way, let's see what our first card is. So for negotiation, we have justice, okay? And for ignoring it, we have the magician. Alrighty. So starting with negotiation, justice. Actually makes a lot of sense in this case. Because, again, not legal advice, not financial advice, just from my own lived experiences, if creditors are calling, that means they want to make a deal with you. They would prefer some money over no money. Because when collection agencies are calling you, the person who originally owned the debt that you owe them owed money to, someone else has bought that debt from them. You can often negotiate a far lower settlement because they just want it off their books. Again, talk to a financial advisor for more information about that because I am not an expert. I just know that in my specific circumstances, I have been able to settle debts for less than the full amount once it went to collections. That's not always the case. Justice says, Follow the law. Get more information. Find out exactly who owns the debt and what the consequences are of negotiating slash of negotiating or not talking to them are. Option two, the magician. So this is for ignoring them. The magician is about mastery of information about practicing what you preach. It's about taking action, doing things. Ignoring them as far as financial reasons go, you still have to be proactive in doing something. Seek some way to solve the problem and sometimes solving the problem is not talking to the people who are harassing you. You can ignore that person and still be working on the problem. For example, you could go and talk to a, an aid organization to resolve the problem instead of talking to the creditor. I am, I am interpreting this as ignoring the calls, not ignoring the problem. 
So you're going to need to examine your own situation, examine the type of calls that you are receiving, research and figure out who owns the debt before you know which of these two options is going to work better. Negotiating with them is invoking justice. Do exactly what is legal. And often, you'll have much less debt than it initially appears, because you'll be able to negotiate the settlement down. It is always wise to seek opinions of financial experts in that case. Utilize the judicial resources that you have available to you. Ignoring them is more going your own route, making your own magic. That's what the magician is saying. Find a creative solution to the problem rather than interacting with the collections agency. Again, this is not financial advice. This is just a tarot reading providing ideas, different ways of looking at the problem, hopefully taking a moment to calm down, relax, look at the issue with new eyes, and make a choice. I hope this has been helpful for you. And if it has, go ahead and leave a comment, hit that like button, subscribe, and until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye.